But the hardest part about that day was the first time we were asked a question that would follow us for the rest of our lives. What are you weirdos mixed with? What's mixed? <laughs> Since leaving the commune, my world had been turned upside down. But after my first day of school, I felt like that upside down world got lit on fire. What is mixed? We need to know. Is it what kills me? My parents had sent us out into the world with absolutely no warning that being mixed was even a thing, let alone how hard it would be to fit in. Everyone was laughing at us. I know the idea of not understanding what it meant to be mixed sounds crazy, but you have to understand, growing up on the commune, race wasn't a thing. And also at the time, there weren't many of us. Today's mixed kids can look up to rappers, ballerinas, athletes, a president, and a princess. The only heroes we had were DeBarge. And do you have any idea how many more mixed babies there are today? probably because interracial marriage was illegal until the Loving Act of 1967. So since my parents were one of the first mixed marriages, me, Johan, and Santa Monica were basically the beta testers for biraciality. As if it wasn't hard enough being a 12-year-old kid going to school for the first time. Imagine being the new kid when no one in the world is like you. Not even your parents. So after mom and dad finally explained to us that having a white dad and a black mom wasn't necessarily the norm, it was shocking. So wait, you're saying being mixed makes us weirdos? Looks that way. Definitely feels that way. No, 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 you don't need to worry about what those kids think. They're idiots. That's right. You weren't weirdos on the commune and you're not weirdos here. You need to stop lying to these children. <gasps> Aunt Dee Dee was our favorite aunt. She had the personality of a TSA worker before they realized what their personalities were gonna be. Don't worry, baby. Auntie Denise is here to fix all your problems with new clothes, hot combs, and hair grease. <laughs> please tell me you're kidding. No, you please tell me you didn't send these babies to school looking like this. You know this is child abuse. <laughs> What's wrong with how we look? Sweetie, you know Auntie Dee Dee loves you very much, but you look like a runaway house slave. No. Don't fill my baby's heads with that nonsense. Them being black is nonsense? They're black and white. Don't try to make them choose sides. <laughs> America already chose, especially this little one. She has edges. You can try to get away with that we are the world kumbaya foolishness back at your little Jonestown commune, but the real world is gonna smell